abundant homeliness. For how comely part of no need. But God had tempered the body together. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lacketh, it. That there should be no schism in the body. But the member should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now we are the body of Christ and member in particular. And God has said some in the church first apostles, second delivery prophet, and thirdly teachers after that miracles, then the gift of healing, helps government, diversities of tongue. All apostles. All prophets, all teachers, all workers of miracle, of all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret it. It is not a weak and a puny establishment. Individually, Collectively, we are the church. We are the doorway to the supernatural power of God. We are the most powerful army that exists. That don't have to depend upon man-made weapons. Whether conventional or non-conventional. Our oh, weapon are the most powerfulest. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the world Amen. don't know. Our oh, weapons are not carnal. Our oh, weapons are not physical. Our oh, weapons are spiritual. And they are mighty the true God. The Almighty true God. We are not here to destroy the lives of man. But we are here, hallelujah, rather to see man's life by proclaiming truth. For fear come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And we have power. Tremendous power, not for your destruction, but for your edification. We are peacemakers. We are the pure in art. We are the blood wash. Holy Ghost fill. Water baptized. Tongue speaking. Save and sanctify, we are the remnant, sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We are the church, we are the body of Christ. Who are we? We are the church, make no mistake, we are a force to be reckoned with. So go and tell them, go and collect them. For the labeling of the church is wrong. So wrong. For we are not who they think we are. Or they want us to be. But we are who God says that we are. We are the church. And it's not a weak and a puny establishment. No, no, no. A resounding no. It's not a weak and a puny establishment. We are the church and I am proud of my heritage. We are the spiritual hospital of the world. Hallelujah. We are the spiritual mobile hospital. Because we are on the move. We are on the move. 
For I'm building a people of power. I am making a people of praise that will move through the land by my spirit and will glorify my precious name. Build your church, Lord. Do you know that song? Anyone? Could you sing it? It's just this chorus. Build your church, Lord. Make us strong, Lord. Son. Hallelujah. So praise God. This is what it is. It's a build your church, Lord. Make us strong, Lord. So join our hearts, Lord, through your Son. Make us one, Lord, in your body. In the kingdom of your son. So he say it means building a people of power. And making a people of praise. That will move through the land by his spirit. And will glorify his precious name. Praise God. Amen. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. And I say we are not a weak. And a puny establishment. But we are. The most powerful. Hallelujah. Set a people. That are currently living. On the face of the earth. When we go into the book of St. Matthew 18. And we are reading from verse 14 to 20. Could somebody read St. Matthew 18. Hallelujah. And we are reading from verse 14 to 20. Praise King Jesus. Bless his Praise holy God. and awesome name. Praise Lord. Amen. Amen. He said, even so, it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, Go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. But if he will not hear, take with you one or two more by the mount of two or three witnesses. Every word may be established. And if he refuses to hear you, to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses, if he refuses, even to hear the church, let him be to you like a brethren and a tax collector. 18. Surely I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth, on earth will be loose in heaven. Amen. 20. Go to 20. Read this oh. to 20. Again I say to you, that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything, that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Amen. Amen. Jesus is God who became man. For he was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. Jesus is the greatest man that ever lived. And he is the one who say, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And who is Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters? Mm, my unsafe friend, the answer is, he is the truth. And because he is the truth, then that means me always speak truth. So if you whatever he said as true words, words that you can trust, his word is trustworthy. And that's why I'm saying what I'm saying, that it is not a weak and puny establishment. No, it's not a weak and a puny establishment. Someone is lying. To you, again I say, who is that person 